Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the second half of our case. 2019 Panini Contenders Football 6 box pick your team number 6 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. So, I remember I made those little squigglies right there. Oh, we changed our hours, Jerry. We're, we go 2 to 10 now. West Coast time. Remember, I made those squiggly marks so we know that they're from the same case. All right, and there it is. Six box, number six. On the, on the 12th. Today's not the 12th. Today's the 13th. All right, but thanks for your patience, Jared, on that. We'll see you tomorrow for that one. All right, Seth grabbed the last spot in Mojo Bills, and there is everybody else. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Now, the first half was pretty, pretty strong. Pretty, pretty strong. So let's see if this second half follows suit. Good luck, everybody. After this will be the break credit randomizer. We'll set that up, and then calling it a night after that. And we should have a pretty busy day tomorrow, too. With the Donner's Optic Basketball is pretty close. That'll fill tomorrow. And then Plates and Patches is the big football release tomorrow, so that should be a lot of fun. Now a lot of uh, a lot of quarterback movement could be possible, ladies and gentlemen. There could be a lot of teams that could have a new quarterback. What does everyone think is going to happen? Chargers need a quarterback here in LA. They've moved on from uh, from Philip Rivers. They need a new quarterback. Are, Tampa Bay Buccaneers maybe might not. Be sold on, might not be sold on Jameis Winston, even with the LASIK. They could need a new quarterback. There's the Buc Speaking of the Buccaneers, there's Warren Sapp. Legendary autograph, one out of ten. That goes to Rick Thomas and the Buccaneers. Cowboys are a little unsettled, you know. I mean, they might franchise Dak, but could they go a wild and different direction? Panthers, quarterback. Cam Newton's not going to be there. Is Will Greer the answer? Kyle Allen the answer? Don't know. So, yeah, I mean, that's right, Blackout, yeah. Sean's pointing out he got the LASIK. Yeah, his eyes are fixed now. He should be better, right? Maybe. Maybe. So I don't know what, what's gonna what's what's happening there. Bengals need a new quarter. They're drafting a quarterback, right? No Andy Dalton anymore. You got to assume they're drafting a quarterback. Jared's hoping someone takes Dak off our hands. There's Stephon Diggs to one seventy five. Elliot, well, doesn't what happened to Cam? He's asking. It doesn't seem like they've really or in on re-signing Cam Newton or bringing him back this year. I forget what his con exactly what his contract situation is like. There's Byron Murphy for Ryan McGregor and the Cardinals. He got a great Kyler Murray in the first half. You know, I mean, are the Bears happy with Mitch Trubisky? There's Damian Willis. There could be a lot of, lot of quarterback turnover. Andy Dalton to Chicago? Could be interesting. This goes to Rich Schmidt and the Bengals. What happens in New England? There's Taylor Rapp and the Rams. That goes to Logan and the Rams. You're in this one, Logan. And we'll do, I know, uh, yeah, we'll do top bottom randomizers on that. And winner take all on the points.
Wow, Jared would rather have Tannehill for the Cowboys instead of Dak Prescott. Is Tannehill for real? Or was he just a product of, 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 of a system that, I mean, I guess you need the system too, but we'll do top-bottom randomizers there. The redemption is, bam, J.J. Ortega Whiteside for the Philadelphia Eagles. Michael Jones with the Fly Eagles Fly. Yeah, you would think that Tannehill staying with the with the Titans. I mean, Miami needs a quarterback, don't they? Jacksonville going to get a new quarterback? I feel like there's a there's just a lot of more more than in recent memory or recent years. I feel like there's a lot of quarterback questions in the year. And a lot of quarterbacks that could be taken in the draft, too. So, there, I mean, teams have a lot of options. They can go a myriad of directions. So let me just look at the, the standings here. So Patriots could need a quarterback if they don't re-sign Brady. I think they're going to re-sign Brady, but who knows. So you think Blackout says Fitz Magic is going to stay with his team until two is healthy? Could be interesting. Steelers? Are they bringing back Big Ben? Wait, they, Big Ben's still under contract, right? But they got to start thinking about the future, right? I don't know if any of their backup quarterbacks looked looked like they were ready to take the reins from, from Big Ben. So they got to start thinking about it. Maybe they're going to be drafting quarterbacks. Bengals drafting a quarterback. You get a veteran quarterback. Colts are the Colt no Colts paid Brissett, right? Jaguars could be up in the air. Broncos are the Broncos happy with Drew Locke? I know there's a lot of talk about Brady and the Raiders. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I think I think if anything, if the Raiders, if my team gets a quarterback, they're gonna go younger, not old o younger and more mobile, not older and immobile. I just can't see that happening. And besides, would Brady Brady doesn't want to go to the Raiders? He wants to go to a team that could that's closer to winning a championship. Eagles are set. Jared, Cowboys fan, not happy with not happy with this guy. You don't think he's an MVP contender, Jared? Jared's saying Dak's so overrated. Wouldn't mind if the Cowboys got Brady for Cowboy Brady to the boys could be really interesting. They've got weapons. Maybe drag Witten back for another year, right? Sign Amari Cooper. They got a running game. You know, and they've got a strong defense. There's points right there. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. I actually think Brady to the Cowboys is not crazy. But what do you do with Dak? I mean, you can't franchise him and then sit him. You'd have to move him. There's Dylan Mitchell for the Vikings. That'll be for Joe. Packers are okay. Vikings are not. Bears might need a new quarterback. If Lions might need a new quarterback. If Stafford's back is not good. Drew Brees. What if this guy retires? What happens in, in, in New Orleans? Buccaneers up in the air. Panthers up in the air. I mean, Niners, Seahawks are set. Ram I mean, the NFC West might be the only division where their quarterback situations are settled. Niners, Seahawks, Rams, and Cardinals. Although maybe the Rams want an upgrade from Jared Goff. There's Kelvin Harmon for Andrew and the Redskins. Darnell Savage. Packers, Andrew, with that. Now Blackout's thinking Blackout's thinking uh, Colts, maybe where Rivers goes for a year. Locke is the future in Denver, says Sean. Darnell Savage once again goes to Andrew. That is crazy. Blackout says the crazy thing I, that could have weight would be Stafford in a trade to New England. Interesting. And there is... Is that an autograph? It is. Marquise Brown. Stephen Cohen worried that the clear auto Marquise Brown was in the first half. Well, it turns out there's another Marquise Brown in the second half, Stephen Cohen. On card auto as well. Pretty dynamic player. 
Logan saying Brady will never leave. Patriots had it on a Super Bowl commercial. Watch Colin Coward t on YouTube talking about Brady to the Cowboys. I know. Is he just stealing material from us, Jared? I don't know. Could be a lot of turnover. There will be a lot of turnover in the quarterback position. It'll be pretty interesting to see. No, see, well, Blackout, didn't Taysom Hill say that, that he wants to start? Otherwise he, otherwise, he doesn't want to be on the team. Otherwise, he'd like to be traded. That's what Nick Jaspi said the other day from his sources. All right, Blackout, my, my takes are just as good as Colin Coward's takes. And he did say that, right? Yeah, Taysom Hill is not going to get a he's not going to get a starting quarterback job, is he? I don't think he had the leverage to say that. So if Breeze retires, what do you do? I mean, they can't pay Teddy Teddy Bridgewater would be way too expensive of a of a of a backup quarterback. They'd have to convince Taysom Hill to stay and sign Breeze for another couple of years or so if he doesn't retire. Where does Teddy Bridgewater go? Andrew, or, sorry, Alfred, yes. Leaf is breaking tomorrow. Everything else after this breaks tomorrow. Unfortunately, we just ran out of time. I don't mind Taysom Hill as... I guess as a as a full time quarterback, that would be quite a. I mean, for a team that's constructed like the Saints, I feel like they're they're just too close to being a Super Bowl contending team to goof around at the quarterback position. You know, if you're in more of a rebuild, yeah, I'd try Taysom Hill. But I feel like the Saints are just too close to really fiddle around with that that position. They want to try to get something. Riley Ridley, 70 out of 88. But the Ravens had to completely change their playbook if they run something similar to the Ravens. Do they have the running game for that? They only have Kamara. If they had, if they kept Ingram, maybe. And Ingram's in Baltimore now. There's Riley Ridley to 88. That goes to uh, the Bears. That'll be for Lou, Lou Brown. Oh, post breeze, but then you got to count on Taysom Hill staying, or then you do. T I mean, I don't know. That sounds. Or speaking of Mark Ingram, there he is, to one seventy-five, and there's Will Harris rookie ticket autograph for Elliott and the Lions. Teddy to Dallas could be interesting. But isn't this guy? And Bridgewater kind of similar, a little too similar. Be a sideways move. There's Ben Banagoo for the Colts. That'll be for Aaron Salinas. L.J. Scott, Raven, Stephen Cohen, championship ticket, autograph, twenty-one out of forty-nine. Sean thinks Teddy goes home state with either Tampa Bay or Jacksonville. Jared would, Jared again, Cowboys fan would love to have Teddy in Dallas here over Dak dump it off or take a sack press cut. There is Devin Bush the second Steelers Philip. With Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. 
Is, is, is this the common sentiment in Dallas, Jared? Not happy with Bridgewater? Or Bridgewater, not happy with Dak Prescott? Halfway through this half-case break. Isn't Will Kane, ESPN's Will Kane, a big, big Dallas Cowboys fan? Isn't he a fan of Dak Prescott? Or maybe he isn't. I mean, if they're thinking about franchising Dak Prescott, I, at that point, I would just say, F it. Get Tom Brady for a couple of years. Let Dak Prescott walk and then and then just draft another quarterback. Because, I mean, what's going to happen? You franchise Dak Prescott maybe once or twice, and then you end up drafting a quarterback once Dak Prescott wants too much money? I feel like the Cowboys don't let... The, the Eagles fans here are going to hate me for this, but... I think the Cowboys are pretty are a lot closer than, than, than people may think. They just gotta make a few little additions to the defense. They got a new head coach, which I think is gonna be huge. You know, Ezekiel Elliott is strong. They gotta re-sign Amari Cooper, but I like Matt Michael Gallup on that team. You know, so they've got all these pieces in depth in a lot of places. A pretty solid offensive line. AJ Gerard saying Mike McCarthy's bad, but and he's a Packers fan, but compared to Jason Garrett, that's an upgrade, right? We're talking about relative, relatively speaking. Mike McCarthy still ended up in a Super Bowl. Jason Garrett hasn't. Ed Oliver, rookie ticket autograph for the Bills. Seth, last spot mojo. We got Darius Slayton, Giants. Matt Gambino with that. It goes to Matt Gambino and the Giants. I think I saw more points down here. That'll be winner take all on the points, by the way. Do a randomizer at the end. And a cracked ice, Mitch Trubisky. 10 out of 23. Lou Brown with the Bears. Might have a new quarterback option in Chicago. Yeah, AJ saying McCarthy's good at wasting the prime of QB's careers. There's Dawson Knox, but still, I still maintain that Mike McCarthy is better than Jason Garrett, though. All right, Buffalo. Buffalo Gold. Rock Yasin, rookie ticket autograph for the Colts. That's another one for Aaron Salinas. I don't know, but what if what if the Cowboys got this guy? You know, is that enough? I'm not entirely convinced that Tom Brady would work outside of New England, though. Tom Brady is so keyed in, tuned in to that New England offense. Like, he can run it in his sleep. Brand new system else, elsewhere? I don't know. I mean, they're... NBA, you know, even baseball to a certain extent, you can, you can have individual... You can have individual talent, you know, really lead, can really lead a team or win you a game. But I know the quarterback position is important, but there's so many moving pieces on an NFL team, as everybody knows, you know. And you got, yeah, just a lot of moving pieces on an NFL team, offense and defense. 
They're so critical, so... Ellie says what? Brady should? Should leave? Because people will say he's nothing without Belichick? Yeah. I mean, yeah. But I don't know if that's as crucial in the NFL. I feel like that argument is a little is a little more applicable to the NBA, where there's smaller rosters and smaller players. On I mean, there's just only five five aside, right? So I think maybe in the NBA, you know, you that argument I think works a little bit better. But it's harder with quarter. It's hard to say. A lot of great players don't win Super Bowls. You know. There's a Darius Smith playoff ticket autograph, 15 out of 99 for the pack. That'll be for Andrew. I need another set of top loaders here. Yeah, Darius Smith is pretty solid. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Bragging rights? of the year contenders the exciting Terry oh I thought it was going to be an autograph <laughs> sorry Andrew I set that up like it was going to be an auto but it wasn't got trolled is this an auto now I don't know what to believe Scott Miller Buccaneers Rick T uh, both Blackout and Logan saying oh, some sort of one of one Blackout says one of one of any player. Logan specifically thinking Kurt Warner one of one. Nice. For the Arizona Cardinals, right? Right, Logan? Jamal Dean. That would make uh, Ryan McGregor very happy. Another Buccaneer autograph for Rick Thomas. There's Byron Murphy for the Cardinals for Ryan. Jared thinking Dan Marino one of one. All right. One of one setting high bars here. It's going to be rookie ticket RPS David Montgomery. Bears. Lou Brown with Shy Town. Remember, remember uh, preseason last year? Everyone was like, oh, David Montgomery. That's my sleeper pick at running back. I'm going to stash him on my bench. Watch him blow up. I feel like that was everyone's sleeper pick. Nothing. Nothing. Maybe this year. I mean, you can't really expect every rookie to shine from the from right out of the gate. Maybe this year. This is the year. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he was on everyone's sleepers list, Jared. David Montgomery this, David Montgomery that. I tried to chase David Montgomery in my auction league. Got outbid. I was just like, he's only an X, X dollar player. And I was like, it went for like 25% more than that. I was like, nope. I got you, Jared. You got Jared's got jokes. He's like, like he was definitely a sleeper, as in he was just literally sleeping. He was not. He was not putting putting it together. He was just falling falling asleep. No, blackout says because Nagy is is an idiot play caller. Josie, you traded David Montgomery for Keenan Allen. I don't know. 
Shows he taking advantage of the taco in his league. All right. At what point in the season did you did you make this trade? Will Greer. One out of ten. Rookie roundup autograph. That goes to. Wait, did Steve Olsen get these in the second half? No, you should have got. TJ Leonard gets it. Get him in the second half, ladies and gentlemen. But congrats to you, TJ Leonard. Rookie roundup autograph, Will Greer. Possible future of the Carolina Panthers quarterback position. Wow, week three, Josie says. It's a good trade. I mean, for you. Man, that guy was still, the person you traded with was just like, I still believe. I'm trying to think of his thought process. He thought that David Montgomery would finally come through, right, is what he's thinking. And that, what, Keenan Allen will get injured? Was that his reasoning? He's like, oh, that sounds like a good deal. There's Amari Cooper. He's got to get paid. That's to 99. And we got Dax Raymond for the Bears. That'll be for Lou and the Shy Town Bears. There's David Sills, the fifth. New York Football Giants, Matt. Uh, Josie's saying, not sure, but I accept pretty quick. And no objections from him afterwards? No, like, the next morning he was like, oh, sorry, Josie. That was a mistake. I accidentally submitted it. My bad. <laughs> There's Deontay Harris. Rookie ticket autograph for the Saints. That'll be for Johnny Cannon. Johnny on the board late. Late in this one. Oh, it came a couple weeks later, so he liked that trade. He didn't subject the next day. He waited a couple weeks. <laughs> so he liked that trade. That was a serious trade. Wow. All right. Last redemption of the break is going to be Hunter Renfro. That's my guy. Oakland. Uh, well, still Oakland Raiders this season, Aaron Pettit. Next year, I'm going to have to write LV on these redemptions in 2020 product, which will be coming up in a few months. After the after the NFL draft in April, it's kind of crazy to think about. There you go. Let's do some randomizers. We'll do a top bottom randomizer and then winner take all on the points. All right. So a new dice roll. A couple fresh lists right here. We got top, bottom, right there, and everybody has a chance at the points. A little consolation prize. Winner take all on the points. Same dice roll, roll it and randomize it. Four and a six, ten times for each list. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, the bottom cards will get them. Four and a six, ten times for the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, name on top is going to be ding, Jared. There you go, Jared Den. I don't think I called your name all break. I don't think I called your number all break, man. Sorry. But consolation prize, a couple 250 points going your way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. This is Joe. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.